Hello guys, this is Shia and I welcome you in my channel Shia Knowledge Hub. Guys, today I am going to tell you about how to make use of H1, S2, S3 tags in your blog post. Guys, I will tell you everything while, while working on my client's project or you can say you will learn everything while working on live project. So guys, it is the site of my client that's name is Herb Nanidal. They have their resort in Mukteshwar Nanidal and they provide the membership of their resort. So guys, I will tell you everything while working on his blog and you will learn everything while working on live site. So guys, it will be very beneficial for you because when you will also go to work on your client's blog or you will also go to work on your client's project, it will be very beneficial for you because you will learn everything while working on live site. So guys, if you want to know completely about it, then please be with us till the end of this video. Because guys, if you will skip this video, then you will not be able to know completely about it and it will create a big confusion for you. So guys, that's the reason. So be with us till the end of this video. So guys, let's start now and let's know about it. So guys, here you can see we have opened the add new post section in our blog right guys so here you can see it is given here at title right guys it is given at title here so what you have to do with that guys here you have to give the ad, uh, title of your blog or you can say you have to give the heading of your blog right here you have to give heading of your blog guys what are headings or what does it mean by s1 tag s2 tag s3 tags in our blog post guys all three all these tags or you can say all these six tags are our headings guys as you read the book there you see there is the chapter name in the beginning right guys so the chapter name is your heading one and under that your heading two comes and after that heading three heading four and likewise right guys so here you have to give the heading of your blog right guys guys you have to know one more thing that there is only head one head h1 tag or there is only one heading one in our blog and it is already specified by wordpress you are not required to create it by your own it means you have to give only one h1 tag in your blog post and that is already specified by wordpress right guys so from here i will take my heading one i have already written the content guys because i wanted to save your time i didn't want it to waste your time so i have already written now i have copied it and i will paste it here right so guys here you can see it is the title of my blog or you can say it is the heading one of my blog and it is already specified in the wordpress right guys so again here you have to do one more thing that you have to give description or you have to give another content of your blog so i will copy it again from here and i will paste it here right guys so here you can see firstly i will organize it because it should look well organized when anybody comes to read my blog so it should look well organized because guys if your blog is not well organized and it is not attractive then user will not come to your blog and he will not read your blog right so guys here you can see it is the content you you are also required to make it justified to uh, make it more organized but that i will tell you after but firstly i have to tell you that how to make the use of as two tag right guys so here you can see above there are two paragraphs there is no heading right and after that you when you come here here you can see there is a heading so i will give it as heading 2 right guys guys you have to keep one thing in your mind that your headings are those points which are searchable on google 
इट मीन्स वैन एनी थिंग वैन एनी बडी सर्चेस फॉर भालू गढ़ वाटरफॉल इन मुक्तेश्वर और वैन एनी बडी सर्च फॉर वॉट मेक्स द भालू गढ़ वाटरफॉल इन मुक्तेश्वर एस्टॉनिशिंग दैन योर ब्लॉग विल एपियर देअर राइट गाइज सो योर हैडिंग्स आर सर्चेबल सो यू मस्ट कीप अटेंशन वाइल मेकिंग योर हैडिंग्स राइट गाइज दिस शुड बी बेस्ड ऑन योर की वर्ड्स राइट गाइज because your all headings are searchable on google okay then guys i have taken it as heading 2 here you have to go on here and after that you have to cl click on heading 2 and and if you want to remove the heading then you can again click there right guys and after that when i have taken my heading 2 here is another heading what is my extreme advice so If you want, then you can also take it as heading two, or if you want, you can give any heading to it. But it should be dependent on your topic, what your topic is all about, right, guys? So I will take it as heading three, right, guys? What is my extreme advice? I will take it as heading three, and here I will take it as heading four, right, guys? however you can take it uh, however you can also take it as heading 3 or you can also make it as heading 5 it depends upon you what you want to make it right guys so here you have learned how to make use of h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 tags in your blog post and guys if you have any confusion related to this then please ask me in the comment section i will definitely try to resolve all your problems and i will definitely reply you and guys if you like my video then please press the like button and if you want to get the latest video updates of my channel then please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you so much for watching this video guys